thank you very much, everyone, for being here. My name is Shannon Rourke, and I am the PR manager for Button. Uh, we're very happy that you took some time out of your Valentine's Day to spend some time with Button to learn more about our solutions for long-term care. I'll start off with a little bit of housekeeping, and that is that um, this webinar is being recorded so that we can post it later if you miss any of the um, things that we are talking about. Secondly, we will um, host a Q&A in the chat and in the Q&A mechanism that you'll see if you scroll to the bottom of your screen and hover, you should see a uh, bar that says Q&A or chat. And then we will queue up some questions if there are any and come back to those after the speakers have had a chance to, to talk. So we're excited today to be joined by four different folks who are going to talk about Buttons Solutions for Long-Term Care. We're gonna start off with JT Garwood, who is the co-founder and CEO of Button. And he's gonna to talk to us about the progress that Button has made in the last 12 months and where we're heading. Followed by JT will be Jack Miller, who is our co-founder and head of product development. And he's gonna talk specifically about the product that we're building for our customers in long-term care. After Jack talks, then Matt Hansen, who is the Executive Director of Home Care and Hospice Association for Utah and the Deputy Director of Civica Manager Management, will talk a little bit about how his facilities are utilizing Button as a resource, some of the trends that he's seeing in his world, and then Daniel Weissman, the birthday boy and CEO of American Pepper, will talk a little bit about the Felix 200 you might notice that he's wearing a Felix 200. So he will talk a little bit about how that could be a potential product for those of you in long-term care as a competitive differentiator. So with that, JT, I'd like to ask you to come off of mute and talk to us about what, my, what Button has for long-term care. Awesome. Well, thank you, Shannon, very much. That was a, a heck of an introduction. And I think uh, the birthday boy and the papper wearer on this call, please don't take it off a single point. Uh, during this whole discussion. Uh, it's, it's definitely the most fun that we can add to this sort of webinar, so I appreciate that. Uh, but in, in general, thank you all so much for joining. I absolutely want to take up as little time as possible talking about what it is that Button has achieved uh, in the past year and talk mostly about you know, what I think that we can do for each of you in the future um, and what this company is going to do for this industry. Um, and I have to start with a big thank you to all of those who are with us in our early days and showing us that early votes of support. Um, I wanna talk about the progress that we've made since maybe that first purchase you've made with Button or the first phone call you received from us or anything of the sort, the strategies that we're pursuing. What does one year into this company look like and why are the reasons that you've bet on the right company as your preferred medical supplier? Um, you know, and, and I just wanted to highlight, we've had a really exciting week just in the past, um, you know, past few, we were named as one of the companies to watch um, by built in Seattle for, 22, for 2022. Um, we've had a pretty groundbreaking year onboarding over 5,500 customers that have purchased with Button. Um, and with that, you know, specific to this phone call, almost a full 10% of our customer base falls under the long-term care umbrella. Um, and just for clarification, because I know that is an extremely broad term and, and Matt's going to, to call us out on it a few times, rightfully so. Um, it's a very broad umbrella for us, which includes assisted living, elder care, home care, hospice. And I realize there are nuances for each of these sectors and the procurement process that goes along with it but the product sets have a great deal of similarity, right? Um, and so this has been um, a huge step for us to get more ingrained with the long-term care community because I think that this is going to be the future solution of how these folks purchase medical supplies. Um, really in the past year, what Button's been able to do, we've established an incredible advisory board to ensure that we're building for exactly what it is that our medical practitioners want. Um, Matt is a very big part of that board and is joined by Jody Fleming, um, as well as Bracken Kilpack, and we're covering many different sectors um, by getting these advisors more tightly integrated with what it is that Button needs to accomplish. Um, and also, very excitingly, this isn't you know, quite public knowledge, but it's his first day today and it gets announced publicly tomorrow. Um, we've added Steve Nielsen, um, who was a member of our advisory board. Um, he's former CEO of McKesson Medical, um, Labsco, Activist Medical. Um, you know, he's pretty much led 
every major medical distributor out there in the country for the last 30 years. And we're very excited to announce tomorrow that he's joined Button full time um, as president um, of the company. So we have a lot of big time understanding about technology on this team. And Steve's going to be able to add in the healthcare perspective. So we make sure that we continue to build the product that you need and you want better access to. Um, so part of this introduction is that he's been able to expand our horizons on what type of products we have access to, right? And with that association, it's been able to open doors for us into additional suppliers, better logistics, a better customer experience for each and every one of you. And I understand that some of you might have just interacted with us in the first time to procure maybe that product that you were in a pinch for, right? That could have been a, a PPE product, that could have been a COVID-19 test, that could have been a great variety of things. But what we hope in the future is that we can ex continue to extend the amount of products that Button is selling for you and make it an easier and better experience because we know the struggles that you're going through today, right? And we're building an organization that is built on that scale looking for the future, right? We're building a company that wants to scale into the next generation healthcare distribution company, right? The issues that you have to face from the fragmented supply process, right? Having multiple facilities, coordination amongst those facilities. Um, you might need a ton of supply, but you only have access points to a few suppliers, right? A few manufacturers that you're only operating with on an individual level. Or maybe you're locked into your current supplier um, because you're, you're contractually obligated to purchase from just one resource. And that's just hasn't worked for you over the past few years. And maybe cash flow is the next big concern that um, having access to the best products at the best prices is something that you just don't have today. And that's why we at Button are betting big on price transparency. So first of all, I want to emphasize that Button is a completely no contract driven organization. We don't have minimum order quantities. We don't hide behind pricing barriers. So you have to log in, create account, talk to a sales rep just to make a purchase. We put everything out there so that you have the best experience available to you at all times. And transparency, we're going to continue to double down on this trend for the entire uh, future of this company because we believe that's something that health tech and healthcare in general is moving towards. Right? I'm not sure how many of you saw, but last week, even Mark Cuban announced his cost plus drug company. Right, which adds to aim uh, aims to add transparency for pharmaceuticals across the U.S. Right, Button is playing on those same trends as we look at medical supply, and we really believe that that time is now. Right, the industry is really ready and ripe for a B2B e-commerce platform to make its name as the go-to destination for medical practitioners to purchase these supplies safely and with trust and at the best prices, all online. And that's something that we firmly believe in and why he, now a huge number of customers, investors, technologists, you name it, are aligning with the Button mission. Um, so I'm very, very happy to have this amazing uh, team with us here today on the webinar to tell you a lot more about the things you want to hear about. But hopefully uh, that gave everybody a nice background on, on what Button's been doing. So thank you very, very much for being here. Thank you for that, JT. Appreciate your overview. The person who can now speak to uh, all of us about what exactly it is that we're building is Jack Miller. Jack is our co-founder and head of product. And with that, he's going to talk to us about what we are building for our customers. Jack? Awesome. Thanks, Shannon. Yeah. Hello to everybody out there. Uh, my name is Jack Miller. Like Shannon said, I am a co-founder and head of product here at Button. Um, previous life, I was an engineer for a very large enterprise technology company. And then uh, made the decision to join a longtime friend, best friend, JT, um, in fixing a problem that we saw in an industry that is very, very important and very, very uh, relevant. And uh, so as head of product, my organization focuses each and every day on defining product vision and product strategy. Um, just a slight clarification here. So the way we define product here at Button is that product means the entire customer experience from start to finish, uh, how you transact or how you interact with anything Button, whether it be technology, whether it be you know everything from our phone line to how a package gets to you at the end of the day. 
Um, product is more than just an individual product or a SKU. It's the entire experience for us. Um, so when I say we focus on product vision, I truly mean, you know, where is it that we as a company want to be in one, two, maybe three years from now? Um, what's important to our customers and why are we going there? Um, when I say product strategy, I mean, how are we going to get there? Um, so I do have to say, I do join this webinar with some ulterior motives here. So the answer to all of those questions are, is we talk to our customers, we talk to our advisory board, we talk to people who live and breathe this every single day. And so, you know, feedback is the utmost important thing in my mind to what makes a successful product and is in large part what's led to the success that Button has achieved so far. Um, the way we think about product here at Button is that we live in a digital world these days. Um, you know, we think medical supply is moving online. Just as so many other things that occupy our daily lives have moved online, I'm sure we're all very, very familiar with Amazon and, you know, you buy something on there last minute. Um, and we've grown to this expectation that, you know, things should be automated, things should be convenient, things should be easier. Um, and that's where we're doubling down with medical supply, because this is one industry where it's still plagued by too many phone calls, too many, you know, faxes, too many emails, too much overhead time for folks who are focusing on saving people's lives and providing services that are so paramount to the health of our nation, but instead that they're writing a PO or an invoice or they are uh, you know, searching a catalog. We think we can fix that. We think we can make it more effective. And we really wanna be the ones that lead the charge on what it means to digitize medical supply. Um, like I mentioned before, you know, we are very, very interested in building products that are relevant to our customers though. Um, one of the cardinal sins in my mind of one of the worst things a product organization can do in a technology company is assume that they know what the problems of their customer base is. Is you know, say, hey, I am building this product and I know everything in the world. That's frankly just entirely untrue. Um, where the people who know where problems are in an organization are the people that live it each and every day. And so that's why, you know, having folks like Matt who can advise us on what it is that the realities of long-term care specialists day-to-day -day are, that's incredibly valuable to us. Um, you know, one of the things I'm most proud of about our organization as Button is that we are truly interested in, you know, learning about our customers, learning where your pain points are on a daily basis. Because the other thing that drives our product strategy is we think that you know, no matter how small, no matter how large, no matter what your ambitions are, whether it's to you know, become the largest health organization in the nation or it's to remain a, you know, a family practice, um, you should be supported and you should have the option to use software and use technology in a way that benefits you and makes your life easier. So when we think about building the button product and building the button e-commerce solution, we wanna take all those pain points into mind. Um, one thing that we've seen in this industry and across a lot of other industries is that oftentimes only the largest organizations get attention from software companies. And it takes incredible amounts of overhead to implement those software. And then frankly, we've all been there. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, that is what we want to solve for. We want to create products. We want to create software that our customer base can use that you know, allows those folks in a long-term care facility to do what their given job is every day, rather than just be a uh, IT fix-it person. Um, and we want them to feel supported. Um, you know, one of the big initiatives that we're working on in that same vein is across the board, we hear for just you know, time-saving mechanisms, time-saving products that you know, allow people to do what it is that they need to do rather than you know, becoming a software specialist. Um, and one of the ways we think we can solve for that is creating integration and automation for our customers across the board. Um, we dream of a world where you know, we can create a system that's intelligent to the point where it tells you when you need something and suggests you know, the product for you and automatically reorders it for you. And on top of that, it comes at what JT was saying with price transparency 
and, you know, consistent, good quality with someone you trust. Um, but truly, like I said, my ulterior motives here, everyone on this call, I say thank you very much because we need your feedback. We need your input. We need your thoughts. Um, we're genuinely interested in learning about what your problems are day to day because we want to be leading the charge on helping you solve those issues and allowing you to just do your job more easily and uh, more efficiently. So that's about it for me, Shannon. Great. Thank you for that, Jack. Next, we're going to hear a little bit from Matt Hansen. And Matt Hansen, as we mentioned previously, is one of the three members of our customer advisory board. Matt came to our um, group recently and very much inspired the team to learn more about what it is that long-term care facilities care about, think about, and what keeps them up at night. So Matt, please, um, as the executive director of Home Care and Hospice Association of Utah and the deputy director of civic management, tell us what's going on in long-term care facilities. Awesome. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate it. And Jack and JT, thank you for your words and happy birthday, Daniel. You're redefining the birthday suit. So I appreciate it. This is an awesome opportunity. You know, I, I, I like to um, reinforce what Jack said about how Button has really wanted and reached out to others and their customers and from others um, in the industry to, to know what they can do to better uh, to design the services and that they're providing, et cetera. It's been fantastic. And that's been one of the things that's really attracted me most to the company has been Button's willingness um, to receive feedback and to really build to need. Um, just a little bit more personal background. So um, I'm the executive director for the Home Care and Hospice Association in Utah now. Uh, clinically, I'm a physical therapist. So I'm a doctor of physical therapy. Um, I'm a past life is really a clinical manager and clinical uh, business owner for a number of years. So I've seen all of this and been a part of it. You know, this was part of my world uh, as far as ordering PPE and medical supplies for years. Um, so I'm very familiar with the different um, challenges and even heartaches, right? Because some days they, they certainly are. Um, and really where my involvement um, began with Button was at the beginning of the pandemic, um, as the executive director in Utah, you know, I started hearing from more and more of our members. We've always been aware of a number of these issues. We've always known that supply chain has been an issue. We've always known that for smaller providers that they simply have not been able to get, you know, the type of pricing that a large uh, provider can, a uh, healthcare provider can. So I've always been, we've always been aware of those types of issues, but with the pandemic, it, it not only amplified the existing issues, um, but it also introduced new ones and new problems. Um, and that's where I really got involved in my current role. Um, one of the things that we started seeing with our members, so we represent a number of home health hospice and private duty home care or personal care agencies, as well as community partners. Um, from funeral homes to, you know, other types of businesses that also have PPE needs. And one of the things that we saw not, you know, with the supply chain, first and foremost, even if you had a contract, many of the, many of our members were having a hard time getting the, the supplies that they needed. Um, oftentimes they're even being told, well, our priority, we have limited supply priority really goes to everybody or to our, our um, to our uh, customers that are ordering the most. Right. So even though they had a contract with somebody and with one of the big suppliers in the country, they still couldn't get supply. So where were they turning? They were turning to the Internet. They were turning to eBay. They were turning to Amazon. Um, they were, you know, following any lead that they could get. And there were a lot of them. Many of them were dubious through email, et cetera, where they're saying, hey, we have a supply of this, et cetera, guaranteed in so many days. And we have some really heartbreaking stories about some of our members who paid money up front or at least a big deposit uh, for supplies that never ended up coming, right? Um, even those that were saying, hey, my cousin knows somebody, you know, it's a friend of a friend of a friend. Um, so we started looking for other solutions. Um, the other problem was really the price gouging. Uh, there was no transparency. There was no idea how much people were paying for things or the type of the quality of the product that you would be getting. So that's when, as we started searching as an association, really to help to protect our members, um, we came across Button. I love the concept um, during, you know, throughout my other responsibilities, professional responsibilities, as well as some of the consulting I've done. You know, I, I really have a love and a passion for um, companies that are trying to do something new or, or finding a, a novel approach to an old problem. And that's something I really saw in Button. Um, they have been very attentive from the very beginning. 
Um, whereas, you know, the, the concept itself, kind of a more of I refer to it as it's, I'm sure it's inaccurate and Button would correct me, but I, when I explain it to our members and to others, I explain it more of as like a collective wholesale. I said by empowering or by pooling the power and the purchasing power of a number of organizations that may be sw uh, smaller and working with Button who has they have these direct contracts with the large suppliers and manufacturers as well. You're able to get the same type of prices that even our largest members can get, right? That you wouldn't otherwise be able to touch. Um, the other thing that it does is even for our large members, it gives them multi multiple different streams for their supply chain. So they're not dependent on just one company. Um, and that's happened a couple of times also where we've seen where our largest members are saying buttons prices are just as competitive. And even if I decide to keep my, my contract that I have with our current supplier, they said button is our go-to. If, if anything looks amiss, if prices have gone up a lot, or if we can't get something, we're going right to button. So that's something that we really appreciate having you know, that option for our members themselves. I'd encourage anybody who is watching this webinar, um, if you are a part of a professional association, talk to your association about um, entering discussions with Button about a partnership program because there are special discounts. Um, that's something our members love. It's a 10% discount on any of the purchases. I know Button has a lot of promotions that they run. There's one today for Valentine's Day, um, but by being a member and through the associations, it's a, it's a permanently available 10% off if they use that special access code. Um, so, you know, we've, we're proud to be a part um, of that partnership program. Couple other things that I'd, I'd mention um, with Button as well. You know, they're they're very aware of the other trends in the industry. For example, our last year PPE was was the biggest concern, or in 2020, right, moving into 2021. This year, it's staffing, and probably everybody could agree, healthcare staffing is uh, on everybody's mind. It's what's taking you know keeping us awake at night. Um, it's what's taking all our time throughout the day is trying to source and. Et cetera. And it's very expensive also. Um, and in an indirect way, Button is helping to solve that also, uh, you know, as well. They're giving time back to those, to the people who are in the office who are having to track down supplies and PPE. If you decide to automate your orders, which is a fantastic option, um, you don't even have to worry about it. I mean, you can, you know, continue, continue or keep your stock um, full, your supply closet full by automating your order so that you know the stuff's going to be coming um, every month. The, the thing that I love also is the 14 day guarantee. I don't know anybody else that guarantees that, that if you make an order or place an order that you're gonna get your supplies within 14 days. Um, the, I'd say with regards to staffing as well, um, it's just very difficult to hire right now. And, and one of the things that our members um, have heard from their employees a lot is, you know, are you gonna be able to keep me safe? You know, we're trying to attract new staff and where fast food can pay somebody as much as a home health aid or CNA is getting paid or more, right? Starting wages, you know, $20 more. I drove around town and I saw that at one of our local burger joints. I couldn't believe it. You know, 20 bucks where a year ago, I think it was like $11, um, you know, $20 to start. It's difficult. And so if we're going to be able to attract people into the industry, we have to let them know that we're taking care of them, right? That we're offering them PPE that's of quality and they have the medical supplies and they're never going to have to worry about showing up for, for an appointment or seeing somebody um, in a facility and not having the protection that they need. Um, so I, you know, I, I'm hoping that in the future that as we continue, a button is alluded to, to, you know, other announcements in the future. And this was a great one about Steve today and about a new president. You know, I'm excited that it, they're attracting quality uh, leaders and I'm looking forward to other announcements in the future and what this is really, what they're gonna be able to do. But if you have questions, I really encourage you to reach out to them, ask if you, if you wonder if they can do something, if you wanna you know, hypothesize about, uh, about something or present another issue, present it, you know, because this team is willing to work with you and, and find a solution. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Matt. So you talked a little bit about staffing, and I think that um, while Oregon and Washington are one or two of the few states that are still requiring masks everywhere, we know that masks are going to be a big part of healthcare in perpetuity because it keeps us safe. Last time I had surgery, I wanted my surgeon to have a mask, but we know that there's this thing called uh, mask fatigue and pandemic fatigue. And so to that end, we wanted to take a moment to introduce Daniel Weissman. He's the CEO of American Pepper. And as you can see, he's wearing the Felix 200 product. So he's going to take a few minutes to talk about how the Felix 200 might be a competitive differentiator for those of you looking to hire safely, um, 
safely hire people and help them feel safe while they're in the facility. Daniel? Thanks so much, Shannon, and thank you to all of uh, my fellow panelists. It's a pleasure to be a part of this discussion. And as Shannon mentioned and some of the other panelists alluded to, um, and all of you can see, I am wearing the Felix 200, which is a powered air purifying respirator. And before I jump into things, I do wanna give kind of a quick overview of what a powered air purifying respirator is, obviously a, a mouthful. So what you don't, what you can see right now is I'm wearing a half hood um, where my ears are not fully exposed, which is, um, you know, provides very easy use in my case uh, for my AirPods, but for practitioners and techs and, and doctors, um, easy use of a stethoscope. Um, what you can't see, and, I, and I'm for a moment going to take the blower unit off my hip. Um, it's resting on a belt. So you, this is my blower unit here. Um, and um, it's, it's fully operational right now. And so um, kind of the, the physics behind it is um, we're pumping air into my hood, about 185 milliliters of air per per second. Um, and that provides a positive airflow pressure, which provides the, a, the highest level of respiratory protection. So um, as compared to a traditional N95 mask, which everyone is fully aware of, um, which relies on a negative airflow pressure, positive airflow pressure, um, my breathing tube is pushing air into my hood or my half hood um, and providing that level of protection. And there's some really, um, you know, kind of quick hitting uh, metrics that, that, that PAPRs provide. Um, first and form foremost is um, you can see my face, right? So nonverbal communication is something that does not exist when you have a regimen of an N95 mask, typically a surgical mask, and then a face shield and also goggles. Um, and so um, nonverbal communication uh, cannot be understated, whether it's for um, bedside manner and, and kind of pr providing um, you know, support to your patients or um, communicating with, with peers or otherwise. Um, it's also, you know, a very daunting experience uh, for patients or, or um, residents at um, long-term care facilities to see that regimen of what PPE is um, without, a, without a PAPR. You also are able to um, guarantee a 200, 250% greater protection factor. So a traditional N95 mask is a protection factor of 10, whereas a, a our PAPR, the Felix 200, has a protection factor of 25, which is how we get that 250% greater protection. Um, it also is a way more comfortable um, deployment of PPE. And what I mean by that is a, a traditional N95 mask, again, is, is a negative pressure, right? So you have to create a complete seal, um, which puts a, an enormous amount of pressure on your sinus area and on your face in general. On top of that, it, it increases your body temperature. So for a user, um, whether you're a nurse, technician, doctor, um, who is wearing an N95 mask, whether for um, a few hours or an entire shift, your body temperature is going to rise. Whereas, in, whereas a PAPR is, again, there's no seal required. It's a loose fitting PAPR, um, which leads me to another advantage, right? So you do not need to deploy fit testing, which is both time and capital. So dollars for um, conducting fit testing for all of your staff um, with a loose fitting PAPR such as the Felix 200 right out of the box, um, no sizing required. So it reduces the need for inventorying, whether it's extra smalls to extra larges and everywhere in between. Um, so those are kind of some of the main points, but let me kind of take a step back and, and speak to who American PAPR is. Um, we are based in Brooklyn, New York, um, and we were... We were born in crisis, committed to long-term resilience, um, and we're driven by a clear mission and ethos um, of doing well, or we can do well by doing good, and, and specifically providing the highest level of respiratory protection at the same time of being a U.S. A US um, company and also driving capabilities in, in the U.S., right? So everything ships directly from our facility in Brooklyn, no ships um, required um, to, to procure our PAPRs. Um, which is a really important um, characteristic for our company. Um, and, you know, as I, as I, you know, specific to long, long term care facilities, one thing with PPE, it does a very good job protecting one, one user, or it has benefits to one kind of persona. 
Um, if, if I look at long-term facilities and, and kind of all of the stakeholders, both employees and patients, there is tremendous value in both, right? So you're securitizing your, your workforce. Um, you know, unfortunately, healthcare providers do not grow on trees. And so the most important thing is to protect those who, those who are caring for your patients or, or um, your residents, right? And so, as I mentioned, it provides that highest level of protection without the need for splash protection, eye protection, and additional types of respiratory protection. Um, you can see that I'm wearing glasses, or hopefully you can see that I'm wearing glasses, which is um, another, another attribute or, or benefit, right? So there's no fogging that takes place because again, we're pumping air into our half hood. And then on the patient side, like I mentioned, that nonverbal communication is incredibly important. Um, and you know, I have customers in long-term care facilities who actually outwardly market the fact that they've invested in PAPRs because, you know, right now when there's staffing shortages, um, kind of weighing who, you know, your options as a potential employee, employee of a, of a um, long-term care facility, being able to kind of point to that level of investment and how important it is to protect your employees is, is kind of a um, really important uh, variable of deploying PAPRs. Um, the other kind of component to it is everything that you see here minus our filter um, can be cleaned, disinfected and redeployed. Um, I said minus our filter, our filter in a healthcare setting would last up to a year. Um, and so less is going um, into the dump, but also you're gonna see a huge return on investment um, within three months of, of deploying PAPRs. Because again, once you have the blower units, um, we see about a four to one um, in terms of beds. So if you have um, 200 beds, you might have anywhere between 25 and 50 PAPRs. Um, that initial investment, um, and then it's really just um, purchasing some um, some additional components, right? Hoods, breathing tubes, batteries. Um, but again, most of our customers have our units deployed anywhere between 18 and 20 hours a day because they can be cleaned and disinfected so easily um, while also providing all of those um, those benefits such as protection, um, nonverbal communication, and the like. Um, so those are kind of some of the main takeaways. Um, you know, I'll echo what everyone has, has spoke to about the innovative nature of Button. Um, it's been a pleasure working with the founders um, at Button um, in terms of introducing at first the Felix 100, um, the Felix 200, and continuing to partner with them. Um, you know, I know that a lot of the focus is on the customer, but I can speak from the manufacturing side or, or the supplier side, um, their innovation in, in terms of really focusing on the, the tech behind it um, makes our lives easier and drives down the cost for all of you um, and, and cuts out a lot of the unnecessary um, things that would drive up costs. Um, and so that's, that's who American Pepper is in a, in a very abbreviated way, but, you know, would be happy to answer any questions that you have on the Felix 200 on American Pepper or on powered air purifying respirators in general. Thank you so much for that, Daniel. Appreciate it. Um, just the, I think I mentioned this before, but uh, my pediatrician uses the PAPR when she's testing the children for COVID and she's allergic to all the uh, various materials in the N95. So it's the way she's able to maintain her practice is by wearing the PAPR. Um, that's the bulk of what our speakers wanted to cover, but obviously we have um, a few minutes if anyone would like to throw some questions in the chat. We do have one question that I'd like to get to, and this one is primarily for um, Jack. The question is, oh, and also, by the way, there's a shout out again, to Dan, for happy birthday. Jack spoke a little bit about automation that's available on the Button uh, platform. Can you talk a little bit more about how healthcare providers can truly benefit for the automation that you are, we currently provide and that we're aspiring to? Yeah, absolutely. No, that's a great question. Um, so, like I kind of said, you know, our main thesis uh, around Button entirely is that, you know, medical supply will be digitized. You know, this will become a digital process. Um, and so what we've done in the short term and is available right now is the ability to, you know, identify what those products are that are disposable or, you know, you have a consistent need for them month over month or quarter over quarter. You can automate that process. Um, you know, I think Matt alluded to it that um, if you know that you consume X amount of nitrile gloves at any given month, um, you can just sign up with Button and those gloves will 
be show up at your doorstep um, at the beginning or end or whenever you want of each month. Um, with that digital process as well, we can automate that payment. So, you know, if you do need flexible terms in terms of actually, you know, sending us a PO and we send you back an invoice, we can mandate that. But it's also as simple as, you know, putting in your credit card number, should you want to use that aspect as well. Um, one area that we're very, very seriously exploring currently is how we integrate more with current systems that uh, our customers already have. Um, and so that can be an ERP system or enterprise resource management planning system or um, a business process management system that actually tells you what your you know, stock level is of a given product. It tells you, um, you know, hey, this needs to be reordered. Um, what we imagine is that you know, we can create an easy to use user experience for us to get plugged into that. And so that the onus is on our systems to reorder those products for you. The onus is on our systems to tell you when we see a very, very good deal in the market. Or conversely, when we see something that could potentially negatively affect you. you know, hey, we foresee the price of this good going up drastically in the coming months. Um, care you to reorder right now. Um, and I think in theory, that's all well and good. But the way we look at it is if we're creating more work and more hassle and more process, we're not doing our customers any service. So not only do we want our systems to be intelligent, we want them to be really easy to use because the ultimate goal is to save everybody time. Um, you know, Matt noted that staffing, huge issue um, going on today. And you know, with staffing, fewer people that a long-term facility has to have on to manage their inventory, to manage their technical processes, uh, the more resources they can deploy to the extremely important stuff. So we're here to make that as easy as possible and efficient as possible through automation. There's a bit of a follow-up question to that, Jack, and it, it um, speaks a little bit to, you know, kind of big company and the comfort of that, but yet also getting lost in an IVR. Can you talk a little bit about what, um, Buttons customer service looks like and what your experience with that might be? Sure, absolutely. So yeah, in a funny story, I, you know, I frequently man the customer support lines these days because if you can't tell from my uh, epilogue prior, I'm very, very interested to hear what our customers have to say at any given point because that's how we may provide a better service. Um, you know, what our customer service model is, is always do right by the customer in any way we can possibly do it because that's who we're building this product for. That's what this company is built around. Um, actually though, you know, one of the best pieces of uh, feedback I've ever received was, you know, over the Christmas holiday, which everyone's very aware how chaotic the Christmas holiday can be, is uh, I picked up the phone and, you know, the customer could not believe that there was actually a human on the other line. And I happened to drop the, you know, co-founder of the company and just, wow, this is crazy. Um, and it was really heartwarming because, you know, it was actually a situation where we were struggling to get her product. Um, but I felt confident being able to say, hey, you know, we want to do right by you. We want to make sure that you have the product you have. We're doing everything in our power to get it to you. But, you know, if we need to offer you a refund, we can do that. If we need to offer you a replacement, we can do that. And a piece of feedback that she gave me that sticks with me to this day is she said, Jack, you know, I'm going to come back to Button for as much medical supply as I possibly can, because I've been working with some of these larger companies for many, many years, and I've never once gotten an answer on the support line. And that really showed me that, you know, this is an industry that we can have a huge impact in. And it's an industry that deserves some thought and some time and, you know, it deserves someone to champion it. Um, and so I really, really, that stuck with me. And so when I think about customer service, I think about, you know, trying to apply that idea of giving that, you know, specialized care, that specialized thought, um, but hopefully scaling it to be as large as very possible. That dovetails nicely with this next question that goes back to Matt. And Matt, this question is um, kind of speaks to this notion of digitiz digitization. What do you think that your members are uh, thinking about with regard to ordering? Are they mostly ordering through some sort of an online portal? Are we still faxing? Are we emailing? What does that look like right now for your members? Yeah, great question. You know, we're in an industry um, where the size of the member, um, it, it varies 
widely. So I'd say we, we have those and our larger members have great contracts with some of the larger medical suppliers right in the country. So most of them are working with a representative or they're entering a portal and they're entering the information there. Others are having to do a lot of uh, hunting and seeking on the internet um, and just trying to look for best prices. Um, one of the things that's common also in this industry is where I think people saw this gap. And so you'll have um, they're really not even wholesalers that present them with themselves that way. Oftentimes they're more brokers where you'll get spreadsheets and you'll get a spreadsheet of all the different inventory that they say that they have access to. And oftentimes they're, they don't have it in a warehouse somewhere. They're not keeping it, but they're just current pricing and the pricing changes so widely also. So they may or may not have the product by the time our members are ordering it. Um, and the prices may or may not be, have been what it was on the spreadsheet when they sent it. Um, so, you know, some of the members are, it's very archaic the way that they're, they're ordering still. It, it's faxing in something or it's getting in and emailing what they'd like and then getting a, a purchase order. Um, but it, it, it varies, you know, many of them, as well as our colleagues that are in uh, skilled nursing facilities, um, assisted living facilities as well, they have contracts, you know, they, they have advantageous contracts, but again, supply is still an issue at times, pricing is still an issue. And that's one thing I love about Button also is the transparency, as Jack alluded to, you know, I love getting the newsletters where it's telling about something, if we can anticipate a shortage, whether it's a, you know, I use the example of one of the first ones we got was a labor strike. Um, in Myanmar, you know, and, and it was affecting my nitro gloves. And it was just making people aware of that and saying, you know, if this continues, it's going to affect the price of nitro gloves. So you may want to stock up or may want to consider. But also, you know, they tell their customers what they should be expecting to pay. So regardless of who you're using, they tell you what the prices should be, kind of what the, the, the going prices are in the industry. Um, so I love that. And then finally, um, just to, if that's all right, just tag on also what Jack said, as far as customer service, you know, another thing that I really liked, I heard from one of our members recently who wanted a very specific type of N95, um, and they were in short supply. So button, let them know we're having a hard time getting these right now, right? We'll keep trying to get them, but they offered them, them an alternative. You know, they said that we know that you place this order with us. We do have these on stock. We have them in warehouse now. We can get them out to you, you know, right away, probably when, when three to five days. Um, so I love that, that they're trying to help solve the problem instead of just, you know, traditionally, we're at the mercy of the manufacturer or of the supplier, um, including with pricing. And, 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 you know, I really see this as a disruptor. What, what Button uh, is doing is, is putting some pressure as well on, on others that if they want to stay in the game, if they want to be able to compete with these new models, they're going to have to look at their pricing. Thank you so much for that, Matt. JT, would you like to say a few final words and unveil, uh, provide the big unveil of what our webinar attendees can look forward to in their inboxes at the conclusion of this uh, webinar? I'll do the first part because uh, I feel like you're going to nail the unveiling out of the park. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to extend my sincere thanks uh, to both the panelists and everybody listening in, um, as well as the folks that are going to tune into this recording later because um, this is the exact opportunity that we're always looking for, right? To get more touch points with our customers, to, um, you know, to talk more about the issues that we're seeing, the trends that are, uh, we're interacting with and the strategies that we're building to execute on them. Uh, it's something that you can expect from Button and you're gonna continue to expect here in the future. Um, as a few people have alluded to, there's many more exciting things in the pipeline for, uh, for Button here in the next quarter, as well as in the next year. And uh, we will be building the future of medical supply and it will be for customers like each and every one of you. So thank you very, very much. Um, and Shannon, please feel free to let them know uh, your big unveil. You got it. This is the exciting part for me. So each of you, each of you will be receiving an email for um, a coupon that you can kick tires of uh, a button if you haven't done so already. It will be a 15% off of any of our COVID tests our BYD N95 masks, and the Vanguard chemo gloves. We'll send you an email with a code that you can take advantage of. And we look forward to, if you have not yet tried Button, giving us a whirl and letting us know what you think. Thank you again so much for your time on this Valentine's Day. We appreciate it and have a great rest of the week, everyone.